back to baseball. North Dakota State and South Dakota State played each other six times in the regular season. They each won three games. Four of those six games were decided by one run. So when it came down to the Jacks and the Bison in the Summer League Baseball Championship, you thought it would be close, and you were right. Needed, uh, NDSU needed one win to get it done. South Dakota State needed two as they went at it on Sunday. On a bright, sunny Sunday in Rochester, Michigan, Jay Flaw, a sophomore from Mandan, North Dakota, pitching this one for NDSU. Jack Rabbits, though, played two runs in the second. Aaron Mockbitz with the hit, Daniel Telford with the run, and the Jacks lead it one to nothing. Yankton, South Dakota native Colton Emery on the mound for South Dakota State. He scattered seven hits over seven innings. Kyle Kleinendorts with a single in the fourth, but the Bison could not get a run across in that inning. Still one nothing in the seventh. Blake Turback with a rip to left. Great effort by Paul Jacobson. It is a two-out double for Turback, but Emery struck out the next batter, and the Bison could not get Turback home there. Still one nothing. SDSU in the ninth inning. Andrew Melton out at second base for the Jacks, and they call a balk here on Flaw. So Melton trots over to third base, and then Scott Splett at the plate for the Jacks. Long fly ball and a sack fly to get Melton home, and SDSU is up two to nothing. J.D. Moore again comes on a relief for South Dakota State. He gets NDSU 1-2-3 in the ninth inning, and SDSU forces a second championship game with a 2 to nothing win in this one. So they did it again in game two with a trip to the NCAA tournament on the line. Trevor Yannick got the start for NDSU. Shane Kramer for South Dakota State. Jacks get the only run of the game in the top of the first inning. Scott Splett with a two-out single and then down to second on a wild pitch. And then Splett goes to third on a pass ball this time. And then Daniel Telford again comes through for the big blue. An RBI double for Telford. Splett will score. It's one to nothing South Dakota State. A lot of pitching, a lot of defense for the next eight innings after the Jacks get that lone run. Jacks with two on in the second. But the Bison get the double play to get out of the inning there. In the fifth inning, Bison with a runner on. And the Jacks get the 5 4 3 double play. And it is still South Dakota State with a 1 0 lead through five innings. In the sixth, Kramer still out there for SDSU. Kyle Kleinendorts with a single for the Bison. But Steven Booyer came in for the Jacks. He got a double play ball to get SDSU out of the inning there. Jacks had a chance to score in the seventh. Runner at third, Al Robbins tries to squeeze, but they get Andrew Melton in the pickle. Kyle Kingsley, the pitcher, will tag him out there, and it stays one to nothing SDSU. Lane Thompson came in, pitched the final two innings for the Jackrabbits. He and Booyer and Kramer get the combo shutout for South Dakota State. Great pitching for the Jacks in the final two ball games. SDSU wins the Summit League Tournament Championship. It was very hard to do. Um, have so much, you know, joy right now for our kids and for our team and what we've accomplished. I have so much respect for the team we just beat. I mean, talk about fighting tooth and nail for 18 innings and on the edge for 18 innings was a great championship day for us. And uh, our pitchers stood out a little bit better than theirs today. And it's a great feeling to be Summit League champs. Uh, we've been waiting four years to do this. Uh, been to the finals twice in my career and lost to Oral Roberts and had to be on NDSU's side, so it feels really good. Hasn't really sunk in yet, but I'm sure it will later, and we're ready to go. But Telford is the tournament MVP. He had seven hits in 18 at-bats, drove in five runs in the five games for South Dakota State. SDSU pitchers, Lane Thompson, Chad Hodges, Adam Bray, Stephen Booyer, J.D. Moore, Colton Emery, Shane Kramer, those guys allowed six earned runs in 45 innings in the tournament. They gave up no runs, no walks, and struck out 14 in those last two games. So next, it is the Jacks and the Ducks. SDSU will play Oregon on Friday in the opening round of the NCAA Regional in Eugene, Oregon. Oregon has been ranked in the top 15 in the country for a large part of the season. The Ducks have wins over a couple of top five teams in Vanderbilt and Oregon State. So we'll see what happens against the Jacks on Friday. The regional is a double elimination format. San Francisco and Rice are the other two teams that the Jacks could face this weekend. 
A little later, we'll take a look back at all of the Summer League Championships from the 2012-2013 season. But next, an old home is a new home for IUPUI basketball, and an old football field is being turned into a new home for soccer at North Dakota State. <laughs> 